What's up, ladies and gentlemen? BMX Dream here, back with the next part of the guide. This is Let's Play Today, the Da Vinci Code, level Temple Church. We just finished off Biggin Hill Airfield, and now we're off to Temple Church. Love that explosion. Let's go. Kind of said it better myself. Nah, Remy. Temple Church. I strongly suggest we sort out the matter of the cryptex before proceeding. That would seem reasonable, but... I don't think we can get any further without solving. Alright, let's see. So we're going to solve the coded scroll. So let's see. Okay. So, uh, so we have another encrypted substitution cipher. And here is the solution here um, is... Okay. Solution here is outdoor the graceful waters you will see through dedication you must find the key. So just do this. Plug in the letters as you see them. So then you keep uh, plugging in the letters until you spell out the solution. There we go. Outdoor the graceful waters you will see. Through dedication you must find the key. Hmm. Outdoors the graceful waters you. Obviously it's trying to point us toward the fountain in the church garden, but the mention of knights of old. Perhaps it's talking about the Knights Templar. Right. You and I should have a look round the inside. We leave the outside to Sophie. Does Sophie get a say in this? Would you prefer the other way around, then? No, no. No, dear. I'll search the outside. Be careful, though, both of you. All right, so Robert and T-Bing are in. So now we got to look out here, and we're Sophie. Okay, so what you're going to do first, before anything, is you're going to go down here. And I believe there's a coin to get down here. So, get down here. I believe there's a there's a window. There you go. So it's gonna be left window. Go up to the right hand corner and get the silver coin. Okay, so then you're going to go up the stairs. That's the first secret of the level. You go up the stairs. Eventually. <laughs> there we go. Excuse me. So then through dedication, there's a bulletin board. 
Open the door. There's going to be a key inside. Grab the key. Someone left a key in here. I wonder what this is for. Okay, so then you're going to go over here. And you're going to go through the gate. Use the key. Then you're going to get a lovely cutscene of Remy. Remember, do not harm them. But cripple the professor and the woman. All need to be rounded up as fast as humanly possible. Don't you worry, chum. We'll have them wrapped up tight in no time. Fine. You two come with me. You two. Secure the perimeter. Report anything suspicious. No problem. Got it. Great. British missionaries. I mean, British mercenaries. Sorry. No. They're here. Take the shovel. This should be useful. Or the stick or whatever this is. But, uh, oh, shovel. Bing! Okay, so I believe now there's another area you can search. That cellar, that cellar door is going to be useful later. So I'm going to go over here, examine the pile of junk, the pile of boxes, whatever. Oh, I gotta drop the weapon. Examine the pile of boxes, go all the way to the right, you're gonna take the moon sphere. That's the second secret of the level. Is it the final one though? I, I don't remember, but I'm going to say that for now it is, but I don't know. Knocked out that guy pretty easy. And there's another guy over here. Which is why I'm sneaking the whole way. Can you believe that Remy guy? Oh, there's two guys. Well, that stupid professor guy wouldn't talk about the girl. Yeah? So I pulled the old pliers out and I said, we want some teeth if you don't talk. <laughs> no, so. Yeah, but that Remy says I'm not allowed to rough him up. What the hell? Why not? Well, I don't know. He just said no. But he pays the bill, so I can't argue. Blimey, well, that's a right shame, that is. I know. I just bought this shine. The pliers, too. Oh, it's a damn shame. Fuck it. No! Oh. Damn it. Uh, ow. Ow. Oh, and these mercenaries get five hits. Enjoy. And you gotta be very careful because the other one's right on your ass. Pardon my French, but you gotta be very, very careful. Oh, darn it. Ah! See, it's hard when he's right next to you. Oh. Yeah, this one might be a second try. Yeah, this one's gonna be a second try. Oh, darn it. 
Yeah, okay, so the point is that, so, <laughs> so ideally what you want to do is you want to knock one of them out before you go to the other one, and I think, honestly, on that one I was a little bit too hasty, so, yeah, so we're gonna have to try, I don't know if we're gonna have to try that part again, or if we're gonna have to start the whole thing again, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Okay, we gotta start the whole thing over. Beautiful. This should be useful. Really? He didn't hear that. Boom! Fish. Maybe he's listening to UK Grime, because how else would he not have heard that? Okay, now I'm gonna sneak. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. All right, I guess you gotta let this conversation play out. Not that it's a bad one. Not that it's a bad conversation. Okay, so I think we're going to take out this guy first. This guy's just going to stand there then, huh? Okay. Better for me. Boom! Down go the British! <laughs> Alright, over we go. <laughs> over we go. We're going to go to this wheelbarrow here. Look in it. And you're going to find the garden shears and pick them up. And exit out of here. And you're going to go over here. And there's a fountain. Examine the planter. Here. I need to cut these back. Okay, that's where the shears are. There we go. Beautiful flowers. In honor of Jacques Chaunier, without his contributions, the underground renovations on the courtyard's infamous Pillar of Nights could not have been completed. The inscription. What does it say? Okay, so then now we're going to take the priory ring Perhaps and use it. Try something else. Gosh, dang it. There we go. So then now we're going to take the shard. All right, so now Sophie is done with the outside, and we are going to switch back to Langdon, who apparently is in prison and roughed up a bit. Oh, that's going to leave a mark. No rest for the wicked. Got to get out of here. Yeah. Sophie. Okay. This isn't important. Hey, mate. What are you up to in there? So just well, don't do anything for a little bit? I've got a really nice pair of guys just screaming to be put to use. Do you know what I mean? It's all right. So then just stay here for a little bit. You just stay quiet like a good little quiet. Boy. You'll eventually get bored. So then he's going to turn away, he's going to go watch the television. 
So we're going to go to the pallet, pick up the metal rod. And then you're going to get the, you're going to get exit out of here, go to this table, there's going to be a box, move it out of the way, get the piece of cardboard. Cardboard could be useful. Okay, I don't think there's anything else you need here. I don't think this is relevant. <laughs> it's a bag full of trash and smells. All right, so then now you're gonna. The door must be locked. It won't open. Okay, so now there's a keyhole, and there's gonna be a gap underneath. So the gap under the door, put the cardboard down. And then the metal key, the keyhole, you're going to use the metal rod. Almost. Come on. There we go. Got it. <laughs> Gotta love the British guard, right? <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, basement key. I'm missing something. Oh, nope. I'm going to go to the door. Basement key. Use the key. It unlocks the door. Better stay quiet if I want to get out of here without alerting that goon. Right, so then now you go over here. There's got to be something else here. There you go. Go to the cabinet. Da Vinci's paddle boat. Take the paddle boat. So then now I believe that's the final secret of the level. There we go. Now go over here. This guy's going to be watching TV. He's going to be too busy to notice that you're right behind him. Knock him out! Blimey! Down he went! <laughs> okay. Now. There's going to be a gearbox over here. Right. So you're going to take the gears. For now, hold on to them. Hold on to them. Then back, or exit, and then crouch down. I still like to crouch down. You never know who's back there. This should come in useful. Nice. A metal object. Perfect. Uh, probably not, because I can't open the door, I don't think. Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, perfect. Yes, I want that metal object. Okay, so now we come up here. Crouch down here. Yeah, this is awesome. I like this conversation. Man, some of these conversations are awesome. All right, one guy's going to be coming towards you. Looking around. Stay in the shadow, you'll be all right. He won't see you. Just don't go up to him. Yet. Let him walk. Or eventually he'll walk. Or he should. There he goes. 
So now let him walk. Boom, knock him out. Knocked him out. There's another guy there, and I think there's another guy somewhere over here. There's another guy somewhere up here. I remember... Yeah, there you go. Uh, the mercenaries take uh, five uh, attacks. You still got to hit him perfect, but the mercenaries will take five uh, buttons. Actually, five buttons. Sorry to make a uh, to make the combinations or whatever. Sleep well. Knock him out. Next, knock him out. Got to press the buttons in the correct order. Boom. Bing. Bing. Bing, bong, bing, bing, bing. Boom, boom, boom. Knock him down. Okay, so now he's down and out. They shouldn't be bothering you anymore. Go into the cabinet. Go into the cabinets. There's gonna be a gear over here. Take it. Gear. I'll need this for the gearbox. You sure will. This one might be a two-parter. Take the large gear Clark, here. Another gear. Yeah, I think this one's going to be a two-parter. I'll try and make it in. I'll try and make it in. Let's see. Go over here. There's gonna be a gear over here as well. This gear Take it. My gearbox. And take the large bandage too. Because it helps heal. Because health is wealth. Health is wealth in 2020. Okay, so then you go back in the basement. Back to the gearbox. Should be able to interact with it, and I think you have enough at this point. Uh, large gear. I'm going to say this one's a small gear. This should do it. Is that another gear? I feel like there's another gear somewhere. Hmm. 
be up here. Maybe I have to go back up. Let's see. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a two-parter. Oh, well. It's okay. Not there. Okay, not in there. Not by the altar. There's got to be another gear somewhere. Oh, maybe back in my prison cell. Hold on, go back out here. Go back down here. There might be one in my cell. But I'm not sure if I... I might not have grabbed it. I don't know. I got to see. Back into my cell. I've been a bad boy. Back. Yeah, there it is. Pull out the chair. And there it is. There's that small gear. That should do it. Now pull the lever. There you go. There we now go. the gears are turning, and it's opening the cellar door. Look, the door. Did you see that? That bloody door wasn't open before. Look, just simmer down, will you? The rational explanation for all this. Rational mind bleeding ass. You have a look. Ah, uh, someone opened that door. The Nelson Alley doesn't seem too happy about it. It must be Robert. Oh, this is not bloody good. I warned you, I did. Shut it. This is position one calling. We've got a situation here. Over. Affirmative. What is your situation? Bastard got out of his prison cell. Are you serious? What? You think I'm clowning about, making up random stuff while I'm on a paying job? Right. Attention, everyone. Clowning with butterfingers has left Robert Lang. Damn it! Fruits and vegetables! Oh, I should have really been faster to that one! Oh, I think this is going to be another knockout. Oh, this is going to be a knockout. There you go. Tyson style. Yeah, I got to really be faster with that. Damn. Sorry about my French, by the way. I, you, I normally don't curse, but sometimes it gets pretty frustrating. Um, let's see. I think we can get this done. Not 
bloody good. I warned you, I did. Shut it. This is position one calling. We've got a situation here. Over. Affirmative. What is your situation? Bastard got out of his prison cell. Are you serious? What? You think I'm planning about making up random stuff while I want a paying job? Right. Attention, everyone. Boom! There we go. Yeah, you need to be faster with that. Yeah, as they're talking, you should stealth the other guy. Or stealth one of them. So that way you don't have the other one up your ass. Bam. Boom. Boom. There you go. Make sure you're doing the proper order. You just do that every time, you're good with the combat. Just keep pressing the buttons all the time. Just keep pressing them. Press them correctly. Do not make me hurt you. Because the, the better you do, the more damage you do. And the less hits it takes to knock him out. Like that. Uh -huh. I, hope, uh, I hope you learned to like eating a right hand from, Mike, from Mrs. Mike Tyson. <laughs> that was a power right, wasn't it? It's all right, Sophie. I'm fine. Teething, though. What has happened to him? Remy has taken him hostage. They're going to use him to bargain for the Cryptex. If we can solve it before they do, then we'll have more to bargain with. Have you found anything? Yes. Yes, I found something. An inscription on the fountain and another key. First things first. Give me a hand. Together we can open these heavy doors. Ha! <laughs> All right, open the door. Hey, come here. We need to stick together if we're going to find them down here. It is rather dark. Well, why aren't the lights working down here? Try the light switch, you idiot. Light switch? What are you, we're in a sewer, you twin. The only thing even remotely easy to use are the controls for those gates. More trouble. There's a veritable army down there. Tweedledee and Tweedledummer, let's be as quiet as possible. We don't want them on to us. Okay, so you're going to go over here. Take the bandage. This should come in useful. Small, but hey, handy. Pick this up. Oops. 